Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel, physical therapist here today to talk to you about how to decrease ankle pain. Whether you've sprained your ankle or you've had an injury to your ankle some other way, these stretches and exercises are going to be good for you to help increase the range of motion, strength, and stability of your ankle. Are you ready to get started? Let's get started. So let's talk about anatomy. What bones make up the ankle? So you have your shin bone, your tibia bone, right here in the front. You have a bone on the side called the fibula, or it's on the side, makes up this lateral ankle bone here that pops out just a little bit. Underneath of those two bones is a bone called the talus. It allows your ankle to uh, flex and extend. And it, it is right underneath the tibia and fibula and right on top of the calcaneus bone, which is your heel bone. So it's right in between those two. So those are the main bones that make up the ankle joint. Muscles, what muscles make up the ankle and cross the ankle? Uh, you have your muscle in the front here called the anterior, anterior tibialis muscle, your shin muscle. People get shin splints, that's the muscle that you're talking about. Muscle is here, the ligament runs down the front here and runs, uh, attaches down to some bones down there. You have your gastrocnemesis, which is your calf muscle here. Uh, there's a lateral and medial head to that. You also have the muscle underneath of that called the soleus. And the soleus is right underneath of that on the back of the tibia. Those two muscles come down and make up the Achilles tendon, which attaches to the back of the calcaneus bone here. So those are the main muscles that cross the ankle there. Those are the ones that we're going to be uh, working with today. Ligaments. There's a lot of ligaments that increase the stability of the ankle joint. The main one that people sprain when they sprain their ankle if they're playing sports or whatever they're doing is the ATFL, anterior tibiofibular ligament. So it attaches to the fibula, the bone on the side, and to the talus, talofibular ligament. And it runs right around here. And people, when they sprain it, they usually sprain it when they're doing this. If they're walking or stepping a hole, whatever they're doing, they sprain it sideways. And that ligament gets stretched out and gets strained. Um, so that's the main one there. So that's the anatomy of the ankle. All right, next let's talk about biomechanics briefly. So what is the best mechanical position for your ankle to be in when you're doing functional activities throughout the day to help decrease the ankle pain that you have um, and help prevent further ankle pain? So when we're talking about mechanics of the foot, we gotta talk about shoes and insoles. So briefly I'm gonna talk about this. Later on I'll probably make a full episode on it. Uh, talking about the best shoe and best arch supports. But today I want to tell you the best place to go to get a good shoe and a good ankle support, a good shoe arch support, is a running store. Um, there's a lot of different stores that specify right in running, and they usually have people that are more knowledgeable about what shoes and what arch supports to get um, to help with your arch. And with what you want to do, just as a brief overview, Whatever arch you have, if you have a high arch, you want to get an arch support, an uh, insole or orthotic that's going to support that arch. If it's low, you still want to be able to support that um, and it's going to help the stability of the ankle when you're walking around and when you're doing things. Especially if you're walking for a long period of time or you're doing sports or something like that, you want to be able to support your arch with a good shoe and a good insole or orthotic. So play around with which shoes, you can try on a bunch of different ones. Which insoles and you just got to try it on and see if it feels good and see if it helps support your arch um, and it feels comfortable when you're walking. So that's just a brief overview about biomechanics of the ankle. Next we're going to talk about stretches. What stretches are the best to do for the ankle? So the first muscle we're going to stretch is the anterior tibialis muscle. So this is the muscle right in the front of the shin right here. It runs from right below the knee, it comes down and the uh, tendon crosses the ankle onto some bones down here. So anytime you're stretching the muscle, you want to separate the two ends. So what you're going to do is you have your ankle crossed just like this. You're going to have one hand on your knee, one hand on your foot. Don't put it on your toes. You don't want to pull down your toes. Put it on the bones of the foot here. So this hand is just stabilizing, giving some counter pressure. This hand you're pushing down until you feel the stretch right in the front right here. So for me, when I'm doing it, Right about there, I feel a good stretch right in the front here, uh, front of the ankle, right up just a little ways. Play with the ankle, the play with the angle. See which angle works best for you. You might need to pull up just a little bit. Sometimes people will feel more of a stretch. I feel a bit more of a stretch when I do that um, in this position. Anytime you're stretching, you want to hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Do that two or three times. 
for all the stretches that we're going to be talking about today. Next muscle group we're going to stretch is the calf muscle. So a lot of different ways to stretch the calf muscle. I'm going to show you the easiest and work up to the more aggressive stretch. So the easiest way to do it is sitting in a chair or you can do this laying down in the bed or you're sitting up. You're going to need to have your legs straight. You're going to need a strap. This is a belt. So you need something that's hard, it's not doesn't stretch. Belt, beach towel, uh, long sheet, anything like that works. You're going to put it around your ball of your foot. So don't go around the arch of your foot. Come up a little bit towards the ball of the foot. You're going to be pulling towards you, bending your foot up towards you until you feel a stretch in your Achilles and your calf muscle, just like this. This is very gentle because you can really control how much resistance you're pulling um, with the belt. Same hold time, 15-30 seconds. Try this two or three times. Second way to stretch your calf muscle is leaning forward on a wall or a countertop. The countertop in your kitchen is going to be the best place to do this stretch. So I'm going to use this wall here. Whatever ankle you're having problems with, you want that foot in the back. So if this is my problematic side, I would have this foot in the back, my right foot in the front, leaning forward against the countertop in the kitchen. You're going to keep the back leg straight, the back knee straight. The one in the front is going to bend forward until you feel the stretch in the calf muscle in the Achilles. So right about there, I feel a good stretch um, in my calf. So this is, again, you can control how much stretch you get by how far you're leaning forwards. Also, how much your feet are straddled. The farther they're straddled, the more the stretch you're going to get. You also, very important, you want to keep this back foot where it's straight. You don't want to have it angled when you're leaning forwards. You won't get a good stretch on the calf. Have that back foot straight. So that's the second way to stretch the calf muscle. Third way to stretch your calf muscle. This one you have to do on a step or a ledge. The best place is some stairs where you have handrails that you can hold on to. I don't have that available right now, so I'm just going to use this ledge right here. So whatever ankle you're going to stretch, you want that in the back. Halfway off of the step. The front one needs to be all the way on the step to help support yourself and make sure you're safe. Hold on to the handrails. The back ankle is going to drop down. This knee stays straight. The opposite leg bends. Let that heel drop until you feel a stretch. Again, slow and steady into any stretch that you're going to do. Get to the point where it's strong but comfortable. And that's with all stretches. You want to be strong but comfortable. You don't want pain when you're stretching. If it's painful, come back out of it. Try a different, get a little different angle and try again. Go nice and slow down into it. Right about there, I feel a good stretch. So this is how you would do it on a step in your house um, or wherever you are. Now we're going to move into strengthening. What are the best strengthening exercises to do for your ankle? First muscle we're going to strengthen is your calf muscle. A lot of different ways to do this. First one we're going to do, you can do at your countertop in your kitchen. So just hang on to your countertop in your kitchen. Easiest way to do it is just going up and down on your toes. This is going to strengthen your calf muscle um, along with your Achilles. So that's the simplest way to do it. Depending on how, how, what's going on with your ankle, um, if you're not having too much pain, try it with both feet. If you're able to, if you're strong enough, you're not having pain, try it with just the one side that you have problems with. Hold on to your countertop and just up and down just one side. It's a lot more aggressive, so you have to be careful with that. You, again, you want to make sure you're strengthening in pain-free range. All the strengthening, all the stretching, pain-free. It should be hard to do, but it should be pain-free. So that's the first one of how to strengthen your calf muscle. Second way to strengthen your calf muscle. This needs to be done on a staircase. On the bottom step, we have two handrails. It's the safest place to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to bring both your feet halfway off. You're going to hold on to the handrails. Bring your heels all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, all the way up. This is a very strong strengthening exercise for your calf because you're using the full range of the muscle. So it's a very good exercise. You want to do this 10 reps if you can. Try two or three sets of that and try a couple times a day. All right, next we're going to do a four-way ankle strengthening exercise. For this, you're going to need to buy some TheraBand. So you can get this off of Amazon. A lot of other places have it. Um, it has 
Different colors for different resistance. Yellow is the easiest. Red, green, blue, and black being the hardest. So you want to start with the easiest. You want to start with the yellow. So once you have your TheraBand, you can do this in your bed uh, or on a yoga mat on the floor, wherever is more comfortable for you. You're going to take it, we're going to have four directions. Down, up, in, and out. So the first one to do is down, working the calf muscle. So take it, trying to spread it out just a little bit, put it around your ball of your foot. Just like that. All you're going to be doing is hit, hitting the gas pedal, just pushing down. So this is a very easy strengthening exercise. You can vary the resistance by what color band you have. Uh, same with the other, start with 10 reps. If that's okay, try two or three sets of that. Work in the calf muscle. The next way in the four way strengthening exercise we're going to do is out. So this works all the lateral muscles on the outside of your ankle here. So what you're going to need to do with your TheraBand, put a loop in the end. So tie two, at least two knots, just like that. So you have uh, a loop that you can put around your foot. You're going to put it around your foot with the outside of the loop on the outside of the foot. Right around the ball of the foot right there, just like this. You're going to straighten your other leg. You're going to put it on the band, just like that. You're going to hold on here. You're going to take that foot, start out with it straight, you're going to come out. So you're bringing it away. Try not to move your leg too much, your leg stays still. You want the ankle to move. So you can even hold your legs, make sure it doesn't move. So it's my ankle that's moving. There's not a lot of movement going on with this. There's just a little bit, and that's all you need. And once you do it 10 times or so, you'll feel the muscles on the outside of the ankle that are working. This is also very important if you've had an ankle sprain. Again, you want to be doing these exercises in pain-free range. You, if you just had an ankle sprain, it's going to be too early to be trying these exercises. You need to wait a little bit longer, wait till it calms down, so you can do this exercise without pain. Just like that. Very good strengthening exercise for your ankle. Next is pulling in, working all the inside ankle muscles here. Take that same loop that you have, put it the opposite way. So take the outside of the loop, put it on the inside of your foot, just like this, right around the ball of your foot. So it's going to look just like this. To get resistance, you're going to cross your other leg over with it straight. Put it right around the arch of your foot like this. Hold on here. Now you have resistance here. You can be pulling your ankle in. Again, don't let your whole leg move in. It's just the ankle. So the leg is still. Only thing that's moving is the ankle is moving in and back to straight. In, back straight. So you get the resistance just like that. So that's the second one. The fourth direction we're going to be doing is pulling your ankle up. So we're going to be strengthening the muscle in the front of your shin here, the anterior tibialis. So for this, you need to be sitting down in a chair on the edge of your bed. Take that loop that you have, cross your ankle over whatever foot you're going to be working with, put the loop on the top of your foot, so just like that. So what you're going to do, you can, if you're by yourself, you're going to have to hold this yourself. If you can have someone else to hold it, that's great. But all you're going to do is pulling down, give it a little resistance, and then pulling up just like this. So now you're working the, the top of your foot here. Another way to do this is if you can um, get on the floor, if you can put a yoga mat on the floor by, by a post, like a table of a uh, kitchen table or something, tie this into the kitchen table, then you can do it um, when you're, sitting, you're laying down on the floor or sitting up on the floor with your legs straight. If not, just like this works just fine also. Just like that. Now we're going to talk specifically about stabilization of the ankle. How to best stabilize your ankle and the exercises for that. So these are going to be balance exercises. So in order to do these, you need to be standing by something sturdy like the countertop in your kitchen is the best place for it. What you're going to do for the first one is hold on to the countertop in the kitchen. You're going to put one foot in the front, one foot in the back. Just like this, like you're on a tightrope. You're going to hold on to the countertop when you're getting in that position. Then you're going to let go. Then you're going to try to balance like this. You'll feel your, all your ankle muscles and your foot muscles working to help you stabilize so you don't fall over left or right, which is why you need to be by the countertop in the kitchen. Have your hands ready to hold on. Try to hold this position. See if you can stand here for about 15 seconds. Try up to 30 seconds. Once you get there, hold on again. Switch your feet and try the other way. So you want to try both ways because you usually put, people put more pressure on the back foot 
um, so you get more stabilization on the back foot. So you want to try both ways because this is due on both, both sides, even if you just have an ankle pain on one side. Uh, holding on, letting go, again, 15 to 30 seconds. Two or three reps of this if you can. The last stabilization exercise we're going to talk about is a single leg stance. This one is very aggressive, so you have to be careful that you're not having pain with this exercise and that you're by the countertop in the kitchen, have your hands ready just in case you got to grab on. So this one is whatever ankle you're having problems with, hold on, stand on the one leg, let go with one hand first. See how that goes, see how you're able to stabilize. And then if you can, try just a couple fingers. If you can do that, try no hands. Just stand on one leg. This is a very simple exercise, but also very difficult to be able to do, to be able to not fall over, and you should feel all the muscles around your ankle and your foot working so you don't fall over. So that's why it's such a good ankle stabilization exercise because it's working all the muscles, um, big and small, around your ankle. So that's the last exercise to help strengthen your muscles around your ankle, stabilize the muscles around your ankle, keep it strong. Try all these exercises at least once a day, twice a day if you can. If you're doing all these exercises once a day for one to two weeks, you'll definitely start to notice difference that your ankle pain is decreasing and it's getting stronger. And you're also able to have a more normal gait pattern if you're limping, it'll help prevent limping also. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you like this video, you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be making plenty of more videos um, that will help you decrease pain and get your life back to normal where you can have fun and just have a great time. All right, thank you for watching. Take care.